back. So sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened, but Facebook just stopped my video and shut down. Um, wouldn't you know it? That's what happens when we're live, so we're just going to go with the flow. So like I said before, we're using the white Odette board. And um, it is a reusable white board, much like the black chalk boards that we've used in my other videos. And we're going to use the Joyful Christmas Transfer that comes with the most beautiful Santa Claus. He is a um, two-part transfer, so we're going to use that. We're going to also use um, the holly leaves that come with it, and they are a three-part transfer. And then if we can fit it on here, I think we can. We will use the Joyful Christmas that's in this beautiful um, script font. So, really appreciate everybody joining in today. And I'm going to get all set up here, turn my camera down so that you can see what I'm doing because this is going to be um, a really cool Santa Claus. Hey, Eric, you going to watch me craft today, huh? <laughs> so I'm doing a, um, a Santa Claus on a white board and I'm just about to turn my camera down so that you can see what I'm working on. So let's get that turned down so that you can see my work surface here. Okay. So. So this Santa Claus is a pretty big design and we are going to put him on this whiteboard so the uh, white of his beard and all will be the white of the board. So um, on part one, this is part one of the Santa Claus, I typically would do all of this in white and then you know of course his hat in red if, if I wanted to do the red and white. Um, but because my board is white, it, it's kind of useless to put the white on the white. So I'm gonna use this part just for the hat so that I can get the red in there of the hat. And then we'll come back with the details part two of Santa Claus and we'll go over that in black. So that's gonna create all the little black curls and features so that you can see his beard and his face. Um, so that's my plan. Hopefully it will work out. First thing that we're going to want to do is remove the transfer paper and fuzz the design. So trying to be careful not to make it stick to itself because sometimes that can be a little difficult to um, pull apart um, when the transfer sticks to itself. So I have my fuzzing cloth and I'm just going to place it over the Santa and lift it up a time or two so that we can get some fuzz on there because hey mom hey my mom just hopped on too good to see you this is the design that you've been waiting for she's been asking me when i'm going to use this santa claus so today is the day we're putting the santa claus on the white surface and it's going to be super duper awesome So the first part of the Santa Claus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put him up a little bit closer to the top of the board um, because I think I'm going to put the words um, underneath. So, good to see you. This is the design that you've been waiting for. She's Because I think I'm going to put the words um, underneath. All right, let me turn this volume so, off so you can't hear it. All right, good deal. Okay, so I'm sharing this over to my Hen House Crafting Club. If you have not joined and you would like to, I'd love to have you in there. It is um, a free group on Facebook where I uh, post and share um, all of my crafts that I'm working on and I encourage all of you to share yours as well 
Um, so let's get started here. All right, so now that I have my Santa fuzzed, I'm gonna try to get him towards the top of the board and then centered, of course, left to right. So he fits pretty closely in there. Let's see if that gives us enough room. Perfect, see I could put the joyful Christmas down at the bottom. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, good. So, now that I've got Santa on there, I just wanna smooth out any air bubbles that are in there. And then I'm gonna get my candy apple red and a small squeegee. Um, and then I'm gonna try to, I might need a mini squeegee for that little detail at the top. Um, I'm gonna try to get just the hat area in red. Hey Karen, thanks for joining in. We're doing a super cute Santa Claus today on a white board. So I have part one of Santa Claus on the board and I've got my candy apple red chalk paste. I've already stirred it up before I started my live video. And so now I'm gonna use the mini squeegee to apply the red chalk paste. So um, I'm not gonna use the rest of the, this part one transfer because normally I would do that in white. And because my board is white, there's really no sense in putting white chalk on there. So I'm gonna leave that part blank and just focus on the red areas. Being careful to not get the red in the areas that need to be white. So let me twist this around a bit so that I can get a better angle. I love Christmas and I preach, appreciate y'all humoring me and hopping on to watch this. You know, if we're gonna do Christmas crafts, we have to start now so that we can be ready. Because we wanna get our crafting done and our supplies purchased before the stores start running out, so. That's why I wanted to go ahead and do this Santa Claus, even though we haven't even made it to Thanksgiving. So I'm just removing the excess by standing up my squeegee and scraping the excess back into the jar. I'm almost done here and we'll be ready to reveal the red portion. So if I was using a black board, a black chalkboard, or any other color um, surface, I would um, then go over the rest of this in white. But since we have a white board, we don't need to do that. So let's see how our red hat looks. Perfect. So now we're gonna have that little touch of red I'm gonna take my transfer off screen here, you can't see it, and I'm gonna drop it into um, a pan of water so that the chalk paste does not get stuck in my transfer. Okay, so next we need to dry this red paste a bit because we're gonna need to put part two of Santa on top and we don't want part two to rip off the red that we just placed down. So I'm gonna put my lid on my red chalk paste. Um, you always wanna put the lid on as soon as you're finished using it because um, as the air touches it, it starts to thicken and dry the paste inside. Now you can add water if it gets too thick, but um, just to avoid that situation, always put the lid back on when you're finished. 
helps avoid messes too. So let me grab my hair dryer here. And bear with the noise for just a few seconds. I'm gonna hit this red area. Um, you can, you might not be able to see on camera, but it's um, it's kind of a semi gloss right now. But when it's dry, it'll dry to a matte finish. Remove this from the backing paper. Carefully making sure not to stick the transfer to itself. Set that aside. And then I'm gonna use my fuzzing cloth, or if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use um, a terry cloth towel. So what I'm gonna do is place this on the Santa Claus transfer and lift it up a couple of times. And what that does is it literally puts fuzz on the back of the transfer. So the reason that we want to do this is um, we don't want it to be too sticky and then have difficulty removing it from the board, which could cause some stretching or pulling or tearing of um, the screen because and know it's hard to tell on camera but these white spaces here actually have a screen in them so this is not a stencil this is it has a screen in it so we want to protect those so that we can use these transfers over and over again so that's one of the awesome features of these transfers is that you can keep using them it's not a one-time use so the next thing I need to do is to just line up the Santa Claus. And so what I'm doing is I'm lining up the red area underneath the green area on here. So once we can get that lined up, take a couple of times. That's another reason you don't want it to be super sticky is because um, when you're trying to line this up and it gets super sticky, then it's hard to um, place it on the board because it keeps grabbing the board. So that's pretty darn close. I'm gonna go ahead and gently rub over the Santa to make sure there's no air bubbles, especially over the red area. You don't want to press down too hard on the red area because we really want to try to avoid lifting up that red that we just put down. The other thing to remember is to always use a very light hand, especially when layering colors like this, um, because that's gonna help you get a better finished product and less opportunity for it to um, pull up the colors that are underneath. Okay, now it's time for the black velvet. I've already stirred it up. Um, you want to make sure that it is, is a um, yogurt consistency. Um, that's the best consistency to work with. And so we're just going to load up some on the small squeegee because this is a bigger surface. And we're going to go over the entire part two of the Santa Claus transfer. So... This is going to give us all of the little details in Santa's face and his beard and his hat. And it's just really 
going to turn out to be a super, super pretty design. So I'm not pushing down, I'm just gliding it across gently and putting it kind of thick at first because I want to um, cover the whole area and this is kind of a large area to cover. Then I'm gonna go back and remove the excess and try to work um, pretty quickly there because I don't want my chalk to start drying inside of the screen. Because then what'll happen is it'll get pulled up when you lift the transfer and it won't be left behind on your board. Okay, a little bit more. Okay. So now I'm gonna go over the red area and remove excess at the same time. Try not to press down hard I always have a tendency to want to press down hard when removing, but you don't have to. Just stand up your squeegee and glide it across. Now I've already gotten some on my finger. You don't have to worry about that. This is chalk paste, so it will absolutely wash off with just water. So as I remove the excess, I'm placing it back into my jar because it is still usable product. Okay, so that's pretty good. See a little bit of excess on here. Oh gosh, hope I didn't just mess that up. Let's see, wipe my fingers off. All right, let's quickly try to get this lifted up and Cross your fingers that it turns out good and it doesn't lift up my pace. Voila! Check him out. That is so cool. This might be my favorite transfer of all. So I'm going to put the transfer over here in a pan of water just because I don't want to take the time to wash it while um, we are on camera. I will wash it afterwards and the water will help keep the um, chalk from drying in the screen. So let me turn this around so you can get a better view. Check him out. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm gonna be doing more of these, I can promise you that. All right, so I'm gonna move on to um, our lettering. So we're gonna put the words Joyful Christmas down at the bottom, and I'm gonna do it in red, right down here like this. Hey, Mickey, I'm so happy you popped in. I hope you enjoy. We're working on a Santa on a whiteboard. Okay, so I don't think I have to hit this with the hair dryer right now because this transfer is not going to touch the wet chalk that we just finished. So I'm going to move him aside for just a bit so that we can fuzz the Joyful Christmas transfer. So I just need to remove it from the backer paper trying not to stick itself together, and then place sticky side down on the fuzzing cloth. Lift it up and maybe stick it down another time. So this is gonna help put some fuzz on there and keep it from being too sticky for um, trying to place and remove it from the board. All right, some little pieces there. Okay, so now I just want to try to center this down below the Santa Claus, something like that. Make sure there's no air bubbles in here. Gosh, I just really love this Santa Claus name. He's gorgeous. 
All right, so again, I have my candy apple red chalk paste. And I'm gonna use a small squeegee. All right, I'm just gonna load up a lump of chalk paste onto my squeegee and gently glide it across. Now I have my squeegee laying almost flat as I glide it across. Not pressing down, just gliding. Then we're gonna stand up the squeegee and come back to remove the excess. All right, so this, there's extra on here, so I'm just gonna put it back in the jar. And I'm gonna start removing the excess by standing my squeegee up, gently gliding it across the top. We don't wanna press down, just glide. Here we go. Almost ready to reveal the joyful Christmas. And I do realize the words are backwards. It's because I'm using my phone in selfie mode to record this video so that I can see um, if I've got everything in the view of the camera and I can see your comments um, and all of the people popping in. If I had my camera turned around, I wouldn't be able to see any of that and I would just be sitting here talking to myself not knowing if anybody was there. Okay, let's lift, cross your fingers, and reveal. Love it. That red looks fantastic. Fantastic. Red is one of my favorite colors anyway. Maybe that's one of the reasons that I like Christmas so much. So tell me, guys, um, all of you who are listening, what colors do you use to decorate for Christmas? Do you do the traditional red and green, or do you do something different? Let me know in the comments what colors you'll be decorating with this year. All right, so now I have the rainforest green that I think is gonna be perfect for our holly leaves. And then of course we'll use the red for the berries and the, um, so the berries in red, the leaves in green, and then we'll do the details in black. So now the big question is, where are we gonna put this? So, I'm thinking maybe we kind of have some white space here. It looks kind of random up here, what do you think? So maybe here, or we could do it down here. I think, yeah, maybe here. Let me know if you guys think that it should go somewhere else. And you could totally do more than one of these. I just was planning to do one. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use the hair dryer to dry this red portion at the bottom because um, my next transfer is gonna overlay it a little bit and I don't wanna ruin it. So bear with me while I make a little bit of noise. hopped in though. Hello Denise, so good to see you here. So I was just asking everybody to comment below what colors they're planning to use to decorate for Christmas. 
um, will you be using traditional red and green or something different? So um, even if you happen to watch the replay later on, go ahead and comment in the comments and let me know um, what your favorite colors are. Um, I know a lot of people like to do like blue and silver, um, red and green, but there are a lot of other less traditional colors that are super, super pretty. So now we are ready to work on the holly. So we have these three pieces and I'm gonna start with the green leaf and then I'm gonna layer over that with the little um, red holly uh, berries. And then I'm gonna come back and use the black for detailing. So this is gonna be a three piece process, but it's gonna turn out super, super cute. So let's go ahead and get started by removing the backer paper. Place that to the side and fuzz our first transfer. Okay, so we got a little bit of fuzz on there. Now I gotta try to place it. And I'm gonna be really gentle where it's gonna be overlapping the chalk that's already on the board. So let's see if I can get this in a good spot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna gently rub over the screened area, not the whole thing, because I don't wanna take any chances of messing up the rest of that. So, now we're gonna use this really nice rainforest green color. And let me get a small squeegee for that. And I need to stir it up. I did not stir this one yet. So we just need to stir it and make sure that it's a yogurt consistency, and it is. Okay, drop that in my pan of water and we're ready to go. Okay. All right, so I'm just lightly gonna glide over the top of the screened area. And this little design doesn't take very much and it's small, so to me it's easier to use the mini squeegee. So now I'm sanding it up to remove the excess. I'm still not pressing down, just gently gliding over the top. Okay, there we go. I think we are good to go with the green. Let me lift it. There, that's the perfect Christmas green. Love it. Okay, so now once again, I'm gonna have to use the hair dryer um, to dry this before I put the next transfer on top. So let me move the green out of the way and give this a quick dry. So the way that you know it's dry is whenever it turns from a semi-gloss to a matte finish. All right, so let's go to part two, which is gonna be our holly berries. And if you guys missed the beginning of this video, the replay will be up shortly after this is finished. And you can watch from the beginning to see how I did um, the Santa Claus and all. Now I'm just fuzzing the berries with my fuzzing cloth. And I'm going to carefully place them over my leaves. 
and you can see through the transfer a bit to line it up because you can tell where the little berries go. You can see the little white circle spots. So we're going to try to line that up in there. Okay, I just about got it. Perfect, I think that's good. So I'm just gently gonna rub over the screened area and use my mini squeegee and my candy apple red to do those berries. Gently gliding over the top. It only takes a tiny bit for that and remove. So we're just removing the excess by gently gliding over the top with our squeegee at a 90 degree angle to the board. So standing it up tall and lift away. Let's reveal those berries. I love the way this is coming together. Love, love, love this. Okay, put my lid back on my red. And we've got one more color to apply. Well, we've already applied black, but we're gonna do it one more time. But first I need to dry those little red berries. takes a few seconds and we are ready for the details to the holly. Are you guys still hanging in there with me? I hope I haven't lost you. Okay, let's get some fuzz on this thing and we'll be ready for the last little step and we'll be able to reveal the finished product. Okay, so here we go. Let's line this up so that we can get the little details. There, okay. So now we're just going to go over it with the black to add some outline and details to our holly. Okay. Load up some black on my mini squeegee and I'm going to gently glide across the top one last time the excess back in the jar. Stand up my squeegee and gently glide across again. Awesome. All right, all or nothing here, people. This is the last one see how it turns out. Perfect. This is awesome. Let me turn my camera up and hold this for you so that you can see the final product. Okay, here we go. What do you think? Do you love it? I am in love. Now I'm trying to think what else can I put this Santa Claus on? He'd be super cute on a t-shirt for Christmas. You could make your own Christmas shirt. 
All you would have to do is use the uh, chalk couture ink instead of the chalk paste. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's gotten you to thinking about what you want to do to prepare for Christmas. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And don't forget to join me next time. Um, I try to do a video um, every Sunday if possible. So you can join me next Sunday for another project. And um, if you want to keep track of what's going on with me and my crafting, I'd love for you to join the Hen House Crafting Club. Just comment below, hashtag club, so hashtag C-L-U-B, and um, I will send you the details so that we can get you in there. Thanks again for joining, everybody. I truly appreciate it. I'm in love with this Santa Claus, and I am totally going to make another one. Bye, guys.